Hey, what's up everybody? Wanted to show you guys today what we're gonna do with some willow tree cuttings. Uh, I got a lot of comments from our dogwood propagation videos saying that my property would be perfect for some types of willow trees. And I thank you guys all for those comments. I went ahead and bought some on eBay. I've got 25 of them and I'm gonna show you the first spot where we're gonna plant some. So we're standing out here at the edge of our food plot. And what we've got is an elevated blind that we made a couple years ago. And what I wanna do is I had tried screening that blind a little bit with some hinge cuts, but these hinges got pushed down. Uh, I don't think they're gonna make it. Um, and we do have some really, really wet ground right here in front of the blind that I just struggle to grow some of the clover and oats and rye and other things that we plant. So what we're gonna do, what I'm envisioning here, we're hopefully gonna make a nice screen of willows. I don't know exactly how many yet. Right through all this wet stuff that'll grow up, we'll cover a lot of our blind, and then we can cut those willows to match some of our shooting windows and locations where deer normally enter and use our food plot. So here you go. Here's what the willows look like. Like I said, I bought them on eBay, they came wrapped up in a nice moist uh, paper towel, just in a couple bags. And they are not rooted or not, you know, growing any shoots or sprouts or leaves or anything like that, which is perfect because all we wanna do here is we just wanna stick them in the ground. Like I showed you this stuff, it's really wet. It's gonna be really easy to just shove these in the ground. I think we're gonna space them maybe five or six feet apart and just do a few here and see how they do. And then as they grow, we're probably going to take cuttings right from them and just keep filling this area in as needed to thicken it up and give us a nice screen to both enter into our elevated blind from our house. I don't know if you can see it, it's straight back through there. Um, but also just kind of camo this blind up a little bit better. like that sticking them in about halfway or so all right so we got a nice line of willows we planted about a dozen that kind of wrap around here through this wet edge all the way it's like right up there this whole line we're gonna save I don't know five or six of them we're actually gonna plant these up by the house in an area I can monitor them um, I don't know if the deer are going to browse these right away or not, so we're going to plant these by the house where the deer are not, and we can use these as they grow to propagate more cuttings as well. Here we go, we got the last five in, right up here by the house. And we usually don't see deer all the way up here by the house, it's just really, really wet, and they typically don't walk through this stuff. So we'll see how these grow, we'll kind of use these as our gauge as to when we should walk back in the woods. and. Check out how our other ones are doing. And hopefully, like I said, we can use these to propagate a whole bunch more willows back in our woods. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this willow propagation video. We'll see how this does. Um, hopefully it works out well. Hopefully we can keep propagating even more cuttings off of what we planted and get a nice stem count in some of those wet areas back in our swamp. So thank you again for tuning in. If you liked the video, please hit that like button down below. Also, please, please hit subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date. We'll keep you posted on not only how these willows are doing, but a bunch of other stuff that we're doing in the woods. Good luck out there turkey hunting. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.